What's up guys? It is Taylor, and today I want to do a video on frequently asked questions that I personally get asked a lot as a trans man. Some of them are kind of personal. Um, you would be amazed at how some people have no filter when it comes to other people's lives and personal shit and whatnot, and so I have kind of just pick and chose uh, certain questions that I think I want to answer in that um, I just get asked a lot by a lot of people. So let's do this. I hate, 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 hate that question. I hate it so much because for me, I never realized that I was trans. That's like me asking you, when did you realize your hair is blonde? I don't know, it's just blonde. Like, that's just what it is, it's just blonde. I'm transgender, I've always been a man. I've always been a man in my heart, my soul, my body, all of it. I've always been a man, and it was never about realizing that I was a man, or realizing that I was transgender. For me, it was... I guess if you want to use the word realizing, for me it was realizing that there is a term out there that described me to a T, <laughs> T, to a T, and that there are other people out there that feel the exact same way that I do, and that I'm not alone. And so for me, it was never realizing that I'm transgender, it was realizing that there's a whole other community out there that feels this way and there's a whole other community out there that's supportive and you can actually do something about it. You can do something about not feeling comfortable in your own body. I haven't had to experience this myself um, and I don't want to sound like an arrogant ass but I guess that's what I am so why not sound like that, right? Um, but when I was pre -t, anytime I was single I which isn't, wasn't long, not many times, but I don't, I never have had to chase girls, I've never, girls just kind of come to me, they flock, and no, but for real, I've never had to chase after girls, and I've never had a problem in the girl department, so, eh, I don't know. When I think about it, it's very confusing. It seems like, to me, in my mind, that it would be harder. Because, who would I, like, t I don't know how to explain what's going on in my head. Like, who would I market myself to, if you will? Will I date a lesbian? Will I date a straight girl? I don't know. And is that really important? I don't, I don't think so. I think if a girl likes me, for me, then regardless of her sexuality or what she claimed to identify as, then we'll go from there. Um, but yeah, good question because that question does pop up in my mind. It's like, who? I mean, hopefully I'll never have to worry about that. Like, I don't want to go through that. I don't know. We'll see where it takes me. I am a straight male. If you want to get all technical about it, yeah, I'm transgender. I am a transgender straight male. But if you walk up to me on the street and said, hey, what do you identify as? Because everyone does that joke. I would say I am a straight male. End of story. Yes and no. Um, yes in the fact that in real life, as an in in-person, and at work and people that I meet from this point from starting T forward I am Taylor a man and that's that that's it that's how they know me that's how I want them to know me so in that sense yes I'm living my life stealth at work I am a boy I moved positions like a month after starting tea and they know me as a boy and there's some people there that know about me because I worked with them previously and 
God knows what happens behind my back, so I really don't know who all knows, but we're just gonna go with most people don't know, and that's how I want it. Like, I want to be Taylor the boy, and that's it. But then there's this other part of me that is like, Taylor, you have the chance to be a great activist, is that the word? I don't know. But you have a voice, you have experience, you're obviously going through this, use it, don't waste it. And so on social medias, my Instagram, uh, my YouTube, yeah, I put myself out there and I love it. I love when I get messages from someone saying, hey, like, you are an inspiration and seeing your updates and watching your videos and seeing your posts, that's helping me in my own personal life and that has helped me in my relationships with other people or it's helped me learn how to do this, this, and this, I don't know, but when I get those messages, it's an unexplainable feeling and I absolutely love it. I love it so much. And so when that happens, I'm like, you know, does it really matter if people at work and everyone knows that I'm transgender? No. I mean, it's not something I'm ashamed of, because I'm not ashamed of at all. It's just something that... I mean, I lived as a girl for 24 years, and I just want to live now as Taylor, a man, and that is that. No questions asked. I don't have to be labeled as anything. I don't have to be put in a box. None of that. And so... I don't know. Anyway, I'm getting really in-depth. I should just make that a separate video. But, back to the question. Do I live my life stealth? Yes and no. Real life, nowadays, yes. Social media, and people that know me, obviously, before I started T, no. I'm open about it. For the rest of my life. Forever. I love taking shots. It'll be alright. <laughs> I have a furry baby. Can you see her? She's over there. She's like the cutest thing with four legs. That's my kid. She's the love of my life. I love her so much. But in all honesty, no, I don't have like human children. I mean, she's she's like a human. She's like a diva baby human princess. I love her so much. Okay, off topic. Um, do I want kids? Absolutely. Maybe like one kid. I want a boy. Boys are so cute. Um, but anyway, yeah, I want kids. Will I have them physically? Like, will I birth a child? Hail to the no. Did I freeze my eggs? Hail to the no. I don't have $15,000 laying around. And if I did, I probably wouldn't spend it freezing my eggs. Just so we're clear. But yes, I want kids. And I'm excited to have kids someday. How will I have kids? Well... Hopefully I'll win the lottery tomorrow, and I'll be like $800 million richer, and with that, you just find a guy, and you get his goods, and you give it to the girl that you're with, and we get her pregnant. A guy that looks like me, though, because I want kids that look like me. I'm so... I'm so selfish. And I really, 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 honestly, honest to God, wish that I could have my own biological children but it's just not in the cards for me um, I think that you could still go in and get my eggs from me but I think and again I don't know I don't I didn't really pay attention when my endocrinologist was talking to me about this five months ago because five months ago when I just turned 24 years old and I'm just starting tea my priority was not freezing my eggs or having children and it's still not my priority yet I'm youngish and poor as fuck so that's not in the cards for me, but it will be someday, and I'm excited about it. But anyway, like I was saying, yeah, you could probably go in and get my eggs a while from now, once I've been on tea for a while, but I think that once that happens, then you have a higher chance of the egg child 
being mentally handicapped or like some kind of handicap. I'm pretty sure that's what I heard. I'm pretty sure that's a real thing. I don't know. And like I said, not only am I selfish, or I don't want that, but at the same note, why would I want to bring a child into this world that I know is just going to be miserable? I don't know. Point is, is I'll have kids and I'm going to win the lottery tomorrow and it's going to be a great day. No. No. I don't. And it's great. Like, I would say that within the past, I'm five months on T today, actually. Happy anniversary to me. But I would say, honestly, within the past two months or so, I get gendered correctly 99.5% of the time. I don't know. If you were like, Taylor, you can have bottom surgery right this minute and I will pay for it. Would I do it? No. Five-ish years from now? I don't know. Um, bottom surgery is something that... It scares the living fuck out of me, to be honest. Like, that is a very sensitive part of your body. And from pictures I've seen... I mean, there's different types of bottom surgery, but from pictures I've seen, in my own opinion... Don't take this the wrong way, but in my own opinion, some of them aren't worth it. Some of them look nothing like an actual penis. So, I don't know that I want to put myself through that physical pain for something that's not worth it. But yes, the idea of bottom surgery, besides scaring the actual fuck out of me, is very, very, very interesting to me. And... Lately, I would say within the past month, I have done a lot more research on it. I have followed more guys on YouTube that have had it and watched their videos and learned more about it. And it's, it's very interesting to me. And who knows, maybe in five-ish more years, whatever, if I did decide that I want it, we would be even more medically advanced to where it wouldn't be like as scary or it would be better looking aesthetically. I don't know. But at this very moment... No. Years from now? Who knows? Yes! Top surgery is so expensive, okay? But top surgery is so, 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 so very important. And I need it, and I want it. And if you were like, Taylor, you can have top surgery now, I would be like, get the keys and get in the car because we are leaving. <sighs> Lately, my dysphoria has been the worst with my chest. I dream of the day that I can take my shirt off and not have to worry about what I have going on right now and I have a typical male chest and it's gonna be great. Um, yes, I will have surgery, I will have top surgery. But those are the most frequently asked questions that I get and those are the most frequently asked questions that I am most comfortable answering right now that aren't super personal. Just because I'm transgender, like, I'm still a person. And other transgender people are still people. So, a good rule of thumb, just as advice, if any of this, like, sinks in for you, if it's something that you would not want to be asked, then why would you ask someone else that? Doesn't make sense to me. Um, but like I said, with friends and family, I personally am very open, open, um, with people on my Instagram, etc. I am very open, and I love answering questions. Just please be respectful when asking them. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Cutest little human child with four legs you'll ever meet. Shoo! Shoo! Oh, merci. Hi! <laughs> Yeah, she loves the camera. Like, go through all my videos and she's like photobombing me every single time. <laughs>